Hello and welcome to Around the Diocese. I'm Father Sight with your local news source for what's happening around our diocese and beyond. This is your June 1st edition, which will feature Mercy in Action and the upcoming priesthood ordinations. On this week's Mercy in Action, our calendar reminds us that Friday is the church's jubilee or celebration of priests. One of the ways that Christ continues to extend his mercy to us is through the ministry of ordained priests. Through their preaching and celebration of the sacraments, they invite all of us to encounter and extend God's mercy. So this week, let's pray for all the priests of our diocese that the Lord may continue to strengthen us to be faithful shepherds and that the Lord may also help all members of the church to be part of his faithful flock. Now, a special message about vocations. This Saturday, Bishop Cunningham will ordain Deacon Peter Tassini and Deacon Ken Kirkman to the priesthood at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception at 10 o'clock in the morning. Deacon Tassini, a native of St. James Church in Syracuse, studied at Theological College Seminary at the Catholic University of America in Washington, D.C. Deacon Kirkman, a native of Holy Cross Church in DeWitt, studied at St. Mary's Seminary and University in Baltimore, Maryland. Both have had a number of experiences in different parishes during their time in the seminary, right here in our diocese, both in the western region and in the southern tier. They are good, holy men, and our diocese is so blessed to have them and welcome them into the presbyterate. As of yet, their first assignments have not been announced. To learn more about deacons, soon to be fathers, to Sini and Kirkman, check out the interviews they gave to Catholic TV on our YouTube channel. Also, if you would like to learn more about what an ordination is like, please check out Ordination 101 with Father Scardella, the director of the Diocesan Office of Liturgy. Finally, Bishop Cunningham has asked that we join him in praying a novena for these men, which can be found on our diocesan website. Up next, diocesan social media specialist Nicole Osivord brings us this week's Media Minute. The Diocese of Syracuse has a rich history, and in today's Media Minute, we're going to introduce you to the Carl H. Roche Museum and Archives. The Carl H. Roche Museum is located in the basement of the former Cathedral School, right across from the Civic Center in Syracuse. It's open to the public on the second Wednesday of every month from 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. or by appointment Monday through Friday between 9 and 3. The museum houses a vast collection of documents and other items of historical value to the diocese and parishes. If you are a history lover, it's definitely worth the trip. While you're here visiting the museum, make sure you walk across the street to the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception and enter through the Holy Door. For more information, visit our diocesan website at sirdio.org. Thank you, Nicole. And finally, Catherine Long, the editor of The Catholic Sun, gives us our weekly preview of what we can find in the upcoming edition. Thanks, Father. This week in The Catholic Sun, we celebrate Deacon Matthew Lyons' ordination, take a look at an emergency shelter project in Utica, and remember the lives of two beloved priests of the diocese. And as always, be sure to visit thecatholicsun.com every day for the latest local, national, and international Catholic news. Thank you, Catherine. Until next time, I'm Father Sight, and remember God is doing great things in each of us and all around our diocese. Don't forget to keep praying for vocations and to encourage young men and women to answer the call. God bless you.